really, I uh, thank you for positive treatment of uh, today. Uh, thank you for uh, positive treatment of uh, uh, Jane Valgan. In the case it's not uh, metaphysical yeah. displacing. Sorry, translator, don't, don't speak if, uh, hear you. Like this? It's okay? Switch? Okay. okay. Now it's okay. Uh, uh, I appreciate your result of conservative treatment by grace in case of metaphysical displacing of bilateral genital and a, ca a case again of scoliosis due to hemivertebra. But my question, what is it, your explanation of this grace? What is the mechanism of working? Is it a type of guided growth? I mean, uh, stabling of one side and leaving the other side grow. So it is a type of hemophysial disease, this external grace, or it is just to stretch the ligament to allow normal growth in case of a vertebra or even bilateral genital disease. You mean the case I uh, presented uh, boy with two hemivertebra, is it true? Yeah. Yeah, it, it is uh, uh, it, the result of those causes by, uh, uh, by bending in, in the brace. By, uh, the boy uses two braces, one for uh, night uh, correction, it is uh, uh, high effective uh, uh, high effective uh, uh, bending and the second brace he used uh, so for the daily living for, uh, and uh, uh, we was inspired to this treatment by Professor Jacques Chenot because he presented maybe eight years ago uh, two cases that he treated uh, this uh, uh, vetch vertebra in the different region, in the region, and he was, uh, he presented uh, very good uh, success result. That is why we tried to this boy, engineer Cherny uh, is, I mentioned, very uh, handy uh, technician and his braces are uh, high corrective and uh, this uh, uh, correction, the bending in uh, brace uh, was effective as you uh, can see after five years of treatment because uh, uh, parents uh, didn't want surgical treatment of, of, of the boy and uh, the, it, it, it would be I think uh, not easy in two, two levels, this hemivertebra to, to solute it uh, is difficult. And, uh, this means that the pathology is not only in the bone, but also in a contracted ligament. And this place stretches the ligament enough to allow the bone to grow normally. This, this is okay or not? I think so because uh, the bending uh, uh, causes uh, uh, pressure on the convex side and uh, it, it can be efficient, I think. I think that uh, there is, uh, uh, I presented this eight plate, this uh, guided growth. It is uh, my intention uh, uh, to uh, encourage spine surgeons for similar procedures in the spine, in growth plates uh, of vertebral bodies, uh, stop uh, growth on convex side by uh, some small devices. It could be very, very effective, or also boring method. Uh, <coughs> Would be possible because we usually uh, use uh, uh, boring method according to Magnicol and uh, 
uh, I will present it in the next lecture and it could be effective also on vertebral bodies, but it is some type of micro surgery, I think it is in spine. Большое спасибо за уникальные данные, которые вы нам предоставили. Я хочу задать вам три вопроса. Первый вопрос. Вы предоставили данные по использованию метода дентинтометрии у детей. Я хотела бы уточнить, насколько уже создана база данных дентинтометрии для детей. И есть ли разница... Эти данные, я думаю, что есть, но есть уже какие-то исследования, взятые за основу для детей разного года. For the children of different age, densitometric data for different age groups of children. And densitometric data depending on different uh, races, negroid, asiatic, Caucasian, combined because genetic peculiarities of uh, vitamin D intake differ in different races and there are many uh, data in publications about this. My second question, Do, is there, as of now, I have never come across it and if you tell me I would be very grateful if you tell me if there are any randomized blind trials, clinical trials on the use of phosphorus oral uh, phosphorus and bifosphonus in children. Because, for example, in Kazakhstan, the use of bifosphonus in children is prohibited. So it would be interesting to know if there, are, oh, there were such trials. And question number three, have you ever seen uh, children with Ramanda syndrome asymmetric, uh, asymmetrical uh, no ribs or diaphragm or have you ever met uh, or come across the genetic code of this pathology? Is it existent as of today or not? Thank you. Спасибо за ваши вопросы. Думаю, что для полного объяснения у нас не хватит времени, но может быть мы сможем с вами поговорить на эту тему во время кофе-брейка или позже. Вкратце могу ответить следующее. Что касается денситометрических стандартов для детей, мы не проверяли стандарты, мы использовали стандарты для э, популяции Германии, немецкой э, популяции, использовали денситометрические приспособления э, компании, произведенные компанией Холоджик, и эта компания Еще раз разрешите повторить, вас задать есть решение 
сами. И вопрос следующий. Значит, в первом докладе вы привели схему э, медикаментозного лечения э, вязания дисплазии. Есть ли данные по эффективности этого лечения? Это первый вопрос. И второй, ну тут скорее не вопрос, а так может быть в плане дискуссии. Дети с малым ростом на фоне физарных дисплазий и физарных, они страдают не только от того, что у них малый рост, но и то, что они в позе сидения не могут опираться на локти. Это дает дополнительные усталости и более позвоночные. Обращать внимание на руки не на причинах вести. Спасибо. Верхних 
конечный дух. В частности, плеча, так как дети с такой патологией ну, страдают от того, что у них нет опоры на локтевые суставы в положении сидя из-за коротких максимальных сегментов. I, I know this is a problem of children with psychodroplasia usually, uh, but uh, I elongated around uh, 30 patients with psychodroplasia. Al al almost too, 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 too wanted to elongate uh, arms too. And it, it was in uh, girls uh, 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 with uh, uh, respect to aesthetic uh, proportionality. They, they would be like proportional, uh, but uh, for, self, for self supporting, it is uh, not necessary to elongate upper arms. Uh, We, 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 we follow up almost 100 patients with achondroplasia from uh, the new, new newborn age to uh, 50, 60 years of age. They, uh, many of them uh, have uh, contractions of elbow joints, 40, 50, even 60 degrees, and they are able to be self-supporting. Спасибо за интересный доклад. В вашей первой презентации был представлен случай, когда ребенку с деформацией коленных суставов использовали артез для коррекции этой деформации. Скажите, пожалуйста, позволял ли этот артез совершать движение коленным суставом? Как долго в течение суток использовался этот артез? И не привело ли его использование? Did not the uh, use of uh, the artez lead to the instability of the knee joint? Uh, 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 in uh, this patient, unfortunately, uh, and, and, and this time is, he is very unhappy uh, uh, due to uh, atlanto-axial instability. He, uh, uh, he is uh, uh, quadruplegic at, at present. Uh, we <coughs> We uh, didn't want to uh, uh, correct uh, deformities by surgery because we afraid of uh, general anesthesia. Every manipulation with head with general, uh, uh, in general anesthesia or other uh, possibility of injury of this region is 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 very dangerous for atlantoaxial uh, uh, region. Uh, uh, um, in, in this patient, we proved on, on X-ray uh, so-called hippo or aplasia of uh, odontoid, on process of odontoideus. Uh, I, I would like to, to appeal for you all. Uh, you uh, you uh, diagnosed patient with bone dysplasia. Uh, it's necessary to provide X-ray of cervical spine, spine, and to look at the uh, uh, anatomical shape of uh, dense epistrophe. Uh, Second, uh, uh, second vertebral body. Uh, uh, patients suffering from uh, so-called so 
spondylo epifyzia, spondylo metafyzia, spondylo epimetaly dysplasia uh, uh, could suffer from this, uh, from, from dysplasia or aplasia of processes of on traders, on dense epistrophe, dense epistrophe. Uh, and, 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 and now back to your question. Uh, uh, we were uh, successful with treatment by uh, uh, orthosis uh, during five years. We, we used this orthosis for uh, correction of uh, bow leg or knock, uh, knock knees uh, or, or knock knees both type valosity or valosity uh, correct uh, by the same type of orthosis with breast dressing. We uh, children use this orthosis uh, only through night uh, but the 10 hours uh, is uh, uh, the uh, low border uh, of uh, uh, of uh, uh, action on pre-stressing. Uh, uh, pre-stressing is necessary uh, 10 hours or more uh, per day. Uh, then we are successful. When children use it, sh sh When, when the application is a shorter time, uh, the results are not good. Uh, it is our empiric experience. It is not not written in literature. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, in uh, children, uh, uh, they have so-called idiopathic. Uh, no knees or bow legs. Uh, uh, we are we are usually successful uh, after after one year of application of this orthosis with bending pre-stressing. Are, are, are you satisfied with my report? The last question, please. Thank you for your report. It's very important to me to talk about this. I have a question. Is there a technique of treatment in the muscular skeleton or manual, or technologies that are included in the treatment of this technology? Uh, physiotherapy is a, a, a part of comprehensive treatment. All children are treated by physiotherapy uh, from the time of diagnosis uh, through comprehensive treatment, conservative surgical treatment. And after a finish of this treatment uh, uh, in Czech Republic, I think is a uh, very good uh, tradition of physiotherapy. Uh, uh, and um, uh, we are, I think, the first country we begin to use uh, uh, physiotherapeutic reflexive methods according to According to Vojta, you, you mentioned Levit, uh, Levit mobilization we, uh, we uh, uh, don't use in children. Uh, uh, children uh, uh, usually uh, don't uh, complain for uh, uh, for balesti pasvarčnika. And uh, 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 we uh, usually uh, uh, treat in patients uh, 
suffering from osteosin perfecta or, or with hepatic osteoporosis. It is also a nosotic unit. <laughs> Да, спасибо. Но Россия является в сфере применения физиотерапии, как вы говорили, у нас это называется мануальная терапия, как раз учителем у Пражской, учитель нашей Пражской школы. Спасибо.